Here's another look at the Infinity Bass plugin by Slate Digital. Today I'm going to show you how I'm using it on bass, 808, and drums. And since I'm going to be working with a lot of low frequencies in this video, you're going to need to be listening with a pair of headphones or on some good speakers to hear what I'm doing. Now I'm not going to be using the phase mode of this plugin because it's more of a sound design tool. I'm going to start with using it on the 808 in the chorus of a song I'm working on called Poison. Check it out. That's it without it. I'm gonna bring it in, it's gonna be loud. Whoa. Try some other settings. Let's go to uh, D. Tell you what, man. Liking the punchy so far on this stuff. Seems to retain more of like the natural sound that I had, the actual pitches. I mean, I'm probably doing it too much, but love the punchy, love the punchy. Let's move on. All right, I got two bass parts in this second verse. I'm gonna start with the lower subby bass here. Like punchy, try warm. Weird, warm doesn't, it's not quite getting the notes. It's pretty cool. It's not getting that note though. I'm gonna go to the deep. Here it is with it. I'm gonna take it off without it. Yeah, it's like not quite grabbing all the notes, but I'm all over the place. I'm doing some super low notes and some high notes. I'm telling you, I think punchy's the, the way to go on this one again. I'm gonna move to the second part of this verse. Punchy, of course, is good. Let's try it warm. Hmm. I think I still gotta go get the notes higher. The different modes work differently depending on how high or low the notes are. Let me try deep. Whoa. Yeah, I tell you what, man, on this song, I'm liking punchy the most. All right, here it is with it. There it is without it. With it. Yeah, I like I like punch again on this part. Here it is with it. Now without it. Now with it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna stick with punchy again. All right, I'm gonna try it on the drums in the first chorus. Definitely makes that kick pump. Ooh. I don't know why, but I like it to the left more. Ooh. I like how it like, just really affects the kick, but not the snare. Like if you just wanted to get your kick to pump more, here it is without it. Now here it is with it. Oh, that's nice. It's like I added a sub kick mic to it. That made that process a lot easier. Here, uh, let's get it lower. Oh, I like it down there too. Without it. Now with it. That's pretty sweet. Let me move it this way. 
I don't know. That character does some cool things. Let's try warm. Oh, whoa! What the hell was that? Was that just because I switched? Hold on. Oh, it didn't do it again. That was unfair. Oh, maybe it was because the crash symbol. Hold on. We are on punchy. Let's go, right? Oh, it didn't do it again. Damn it. I don't know what happened. Oh, this is interesting. This captures some other stuff up higher. Let's try D. Interesting. I like the punchy a lot. Of course, Punchy seems to be the one for this song. Put it in the mix with the bass. Okay, here it is with it on the drums. Now without. I mean, I got the bass so loud, I don't know if you can even hear it. Hold on, let me bring the bass down a little bit. Now here it is back on the drums. Oh yeah. That's pretty damn sweet. All right, I'm going to move on to the post chorus, see if I can screw that up a little bit more. Let me look at the kick here. Okay, I got it on the 808, but let's put it on this kick. Ooh. Let's see how ridiculous we can get. Hold on, let me solo up the kick. I want to try this deep on here. Whoa. Oh, it's overdrive. Hold on, let me turn it down. Definitely adds this weird bounce on the back end of it. What if I turn it this way? Tightens it up a little bit, I think. Man, it really does a lot just to this kick. I can really tune it a lot. Whoa, hold on. I got to turn it down. It's getting kind of... Well, of course, I got it cranked. Because here it is without it. With it. Wow. I mean, it's, I'm probably overdoing it. I'm going to mute it and try a different mode. So this is punchy. Is it doing anything? Oh, I think I think we're gonna beat punchy on this sound here. I think deep is gonna be the winner. Hold on, let's let's get rid of this. I already know. I'm gonna use deep. Oh yeah. Listen to that. It's just like it's adding some, of course, I'm overdoing it, but it's adding like this air or something to like, like low air. Hold well, on, let's put it in the mix. I'm going to turn off the 808. Okay, there it is with it. Now without it. Oh, that's badass. It's a hell of a lot easier than doing it the way I have been doing it. I think I'm going to be using this on kick drum. It just adds that sub in there. That I like. Now let's bring in the 808 and the bass. There it is with it. Without it. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm getting a little carried away because I'm excited, but um, that's that's cool. Deep wins on this. Deep wins. All right. I'm gonna try to run through all these sections and try to get some sort of mix on this thing. All right, first chorus. Nice and full. Take it off the drums for a second. No, I like it in the drums. That's cool, I'm gonna back it off just a little bit. Now we're going into the post-chorus. Oh yeah, I think I have too much on that kick drum. Let me back that off. Okay, take it off the kick. Now on the 808, without it on the 808. That's pretty badass. And then going into the second verse. I got it on this low bass here. Here it is it with it in there. Now without it on the low bass. Oh yeah. Back in. And back it off a little, just a little bit. And then on uh, the second bass part. 
There it is with it. It's not tracking exactly right. Of course, I'm doing some weird effects on it. Now, here it is without it. And then back in. I might have to automate the frequency on there. This, this really rocks, man. All right, back to the drums here. Man, this plugin rocks! Hell yeah. Plus, it, it looks cool. I just can't look at those uh, settings too much. <laughs> I think we got a winner here. I'm gonna be using this a lot more on my upcoming projects. I really like this a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go check out the plugin and uh, subscribe to my channel. And remember, always be unique.